So I'm in the process of sharpening some lawnmower blades and I wanted to show you the homemade jig I made to sharpen the lawnmower blades just about to a factory edge. I do want to say I got this design from a fellow uh, YouTuber by the username Grub32 and also Double Wide 6. I will try to put links to their uh, videos for this jig, uh, uh, their version of it. This is my version. It's basically the same thing. So I'll put a link to Grub32's channel and his videos, and I'll put a link for Double Wide 6 and his homemade jig that he made to sharpen the lawnmower blades. So this is my version. It's just, the wood is spruce, and it's at a 30 degree angle. Uh, this plane right here is at a 30 degree angle. And then this is just a little cheap $10 Harbor Freight angle grinder. It's pretty wore out. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of play in the gears. But it was pretty easy to make. Mine is made out of inch and a quarter uh, wood. And the top piece is about 10 inches. The two sides are 6 inches. So there's two of these pieces. One of this. Uh, 10 inches and then a uh, 6 inches wide and this one here is also 6 inches wide and it is 15 15 inches tall the angle brackets for here there's two of them these pieces here are actually the cutoffs from this. So at the bottom, it's about two and a half, a little less than two and a half for the angle, the 30 degree angle. And what else? Uh, these pieces here, I used two of them, and they are. A little less than a half an inch, uh, seven sixteenths, seven sixteenths of an inch in thickness, and then in width they are about five eighths, five eighths of an inch, and also six inches long. But this is just uh, some spruce that I milled up and it seems to, I have not tried it out yet, but I'm, I think it'll work pretty good. The bottom piece here is, appears to be 18 inches long. I could probably trim this down a bit and make these just a little bit less, but I, I like have an extra uh, place to clamp. This is the first one I've made. The second one, I will probably go out and buy a better grinder. And I will just use the, it's probably going to be the Harbor Freight paddle switch one. And what's nice with the paddle switch one is the paddle switch is up here. And then there's also a lock up top. And you don't have to do what I did for this one and drill a hole. So you can access the power switch uh, right at the end of the tape measure right there. Which is kind of a pain. I, th I think this hole's a two inch hole. And it took, uh, it took me a while to drill that. I don't have the best hole saws. But this, I feel this side here is the side you want to be mainly on. Not so much this side. The disc spins like this. So you always kind of want it going down and as opposed to going up and it would fling the mower blade up. The two pieces, so from this one, this one is in three 
inches, and this one should be about three. Uh, two and five eighths, I probably could have made that uh, equal. And then these two pieces here are about five and a quarter, a little less than five and a quarter inches apart. And then I took a screw. There should be two screws going up from this board into this one. And then there's another two going from on this side over onto these pieces here. These ones here are uh, brad nailed. I think, I don't think I put, yeah, I put four brad nails in it. I kind of just mocked it up with the brad nailer first to see how things were. And then after I was satisfied with it, I went and screwed it in. There's four screws over here. Uh, two on each side, and then there should be two more screws, uh, one here and one there, uh, two here, and then two going up from this board into this one. It was pretty simple to make, and I, I want to give uh, Grub32 and Double Wide 6 the uh, credit for this. It's mainly Grub32 because I think that's where Double Wide 6 got his idea for it. So, uh, let's give you a height of these ones. It's about five and a quarter. And if I've missed any measurements, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Um, the Well, this is for the $10 one, at least, from Harbor Freight. So that piece to the bottom of it is about five and a half this piece here to the bottom and then this one here is about uh, ten and five eighths roughly and then I just used some serious zip ties a uh, neighbor had actually given me these and I was thrilled to get it. I put these things to use for uh, a lot of different things. Before I show you the uh, sharpener in action, I thought I'd at least show you the blade that I'm using or that I'm going to be sharpening. This is a uh, blade for, uh, we have a zero turn, and as you can see, uh, it's uh, <laughs> It's in rather rough shape. The edge back here, there is no edge. It's pretty rounded over, uh, probably a good eighth of an inch in here. And I guess when the blade spins, it creates a little, uh, I don't know, a circular motion here and wears out this part of the blade more, more so than uh, the rest of it. But you know, you can see back here, it's relatively good. But then. Uh, uh, out in here it's pretty bad so I'll probably go pretty heavy here with the angle grinder to try to straighten this out a bit I mean I, I I'd probably have to take off oh man a good minimum of an eighth of an inch maybe even three sixteenths back here to get this blade semi straight again but uh, she's in pretty rough shape and geez this side might even be even worse so there you go. Just thought I'd uh, show you that. So I had to flip the jig around. The blades were kind of in the, the wrong direction. Uh, it would uh, it would have been uh, filing the or uh, sharpening it over here, and uh, that was kind of wrong. So at least this way it'll be right, and uh, hopefully. Uh, the problem is the uh, wheel is spinning up on this side, so it's going like this, and it's going to want to uh, lift the blade up, so I'll, I'll have to remember not to push very hard. So here we go. So I did end up uh, sharpening the blade on the other side 
as you can see the sparks are all flying up at me and to be honest with you that's not really how I want to want to be using this jig with all the sparks flying up in my face and plus I'm also breathing some of the grinding dust so to eliminate that problem I could a uh, build a guard or something you know maybe even a a piece of plexiglass that I could put in there then that would kind of stop the sparks from flying up at me it's convenient being on this side of the grinding wheel because then I can I can see things better and for the rest of the blades the other half of this one and then the other two I ended up uh, going on the other side of the blade of the the wheel and then the sparks would all go back down so I didn't have to um, really breathe any of the dust. None of the sparks were coming up at me and I did not flip the jig around totally it's just the uh, which side of the um, so just, grinding wheel uh, I'm using. I don't know a minute or two I've got this is almost uh, sharp here and we still have to do some more out here I'm not even touching uh, the very tip but it's uh, at a 30 degree angle again and uh, apparently that's what you're supposed to uh, file them to or sharpen them to and uh, well I'm I'm pretty impressed with this thing looks like it uh, looks like it does pretty good so far I do want to build a second one of these and actually out of the wood I want to plane it plane it down and then uh, It'll hopefully, uh, it'll, uh, stuff will rub better on here. This is just some rough sawn stuff, so. So the links should be in the description. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I want to give Grub32 the credit for this. He's posted on uh, Lawn Site also. So, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next one.